welcome to a brief tutorial of Reich. We're just going to go over a couple key features here, starting with the home page where you'll see your inbox, your spaces, your recent items and pinned items, and some popular features over here on the side. So your spaces can also be accessed over here. Once you enter a space, it'll be divided into projects and folders, which might correspond to projects, departments, or teams. Within that, you can add primary tasks and subtasks and interact with them with all sorts of ways, sharing them with people, attaching files, marking them as complete, and recording your time spent on a task. We hop back out here. You can also see that we've got blueprints over here on the side. Let's say we wanted to really quickly create a task that looks like that one we were just in, a podcast episode creation. We can make a blueprint for it. So we can just use this blueprint to create exactly what we were looking at before without having to go in and create it from scratch. We can also look at dashboards, which is just a way to collect different widgets according to categories that you subscribe yourself. That will give you different data about what's being done and who's doing it. And stream, which is just a very quick look at the most recent things that have occurred on your timeline. One thing I do want you to pay attention to is if you go to your profile and hit settings, there are a couple things that are kind of hidden here on a back menu. If you click work schedules, this is something really cool about this app that you don't see necessarily in other project management apps. You can actually create different work schedules. So if you have weekend workers, summer only workers, interns who have unusual schedule hours, you can actually create those schedule types here and add the users to those schedule types. And then when you attach them to a project, it will take that into consideration when it's deciding on due dates and how long something is going to take. You can also access request forms here. So let's say you very frequently have to request graphic design for your blogs or your podcasts or IT ticket requests. You can pre-build these so that people can just fill them in what they need and the information is requested, sometimes required, sometimes not, and it just keeps a uniform look to your requests so that people are not being bogged down with email requests that maybe don't necessarily provide all the information they need. One more thing to check out is the automations, which I love. So if you go into the new rule, you can make your workflow do work by itself. So let's say we want anytime a task in our podcasts folder is changed to completed, we are going to mention all followers of that task. Yay! This is done. And if we create that, now every time a task in the podcast folder is complete, everybody who's following that task is going to get a little celebratory message, just alerting them, letting them know that that has been done. All right, and so that's a very quick overview of Reich. There's tons more to know and see and do. Don't forget to take a look at Reich Assistant if you need some more help getting started. And thank you very much for following along.